Welcome to PointWise's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. In this video, we'll discuss the new installation files and where to find the new tutorial files. In the past, the tutorial workbook files were always co-installed with PointWise itself. Now, although very convenient, this led to the installation files getting larger and larger over the years and recently peaked at around 800 megabytes. In order to help streamline the download process, we've removed the tutorial files from the installers. Instead, we've made them available for download if you want them and at your convenience. Now, doing this has brought the installation file size down to around 300 megabytes. However, this brings up the question of, so where can I get the tutorial files? Go ahead and open up PointWise and go to the Help menu, and you're going to see two links here with tutorials in them. The first is the tutorial workbook and the second is the tutorial files. Now the tutorial workbook just brings up the tutorial workbook PDF. And of course, this has all the tutorials in it. But the other link in the help menu, the tutorial files, brings up a web browser. As you can see, this took you straight to the Pointwise downloads page on our website. Uh, there are three links down here where you can grab the installation files for both PointWise or the License Manager. But if you scroll a little bit further down, you can see the Tutorial Workbook Files link. Uh, there's a yellow download button, and if you click on that, it'll start downloading a file that's called tutorials.tgz. And this file is 856 megabytes. Now I should mention that this file also includes the Tutorial Workbook PDF, and that's just for completeness sake. So it contains the Tutorial Workbook PDF, along with all of the starter database files for all of the tutorials, as well as a lot of the final product pointwise files. So if you're working on a tutorial, you can see exactly what it should look like when it's all done. So once you've downloaded the file, what do you do then? Well, if you're using Windows, you can use a third-party compression and decompression tool, either WinZip or 7-Zip, uh, and that will grab all the files from that compressed file and extract them. If you happen to be using Linux and Mac, you just open up a terminal and you navigate to the location of this downloaded file and you run tar-xvf and then the name of the file and it will extract all of the files and their directory structures to the particular folder that you're in. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.